Up at Joey's, we were talking about Eamon Kent. Now, when they started to really get the Gaelic classes going, they moved into a house over here at number nine. They were hugely successful, but he had a bit of a crisis of conscience because he thought the Gaelic, the Gaelic League shouldn't be politicised. So they formed a new organisation called Clan the Heron. They went out and they raised funds and they built a hall just further down the road here, and we'll show you that later on. That's where F Company of the 2nd Battalion was formed. Right. But it was a small hall, and they didn't have a lot of room to manoeuvre. Now, just behind the church here, right, the Church of the Visitation, was the location of Father Matthew Park. It was founded by the Capuchins in 1910 as a place to provide a good, wholesome day's entertainment at a cheap price for people who lived in the inner city. And it was also part of their temperance movement. However, their solicitor also happened to be on the board of the Irish National Volunteers. So when Paul Galligan of Kickham's GAA Club thought the hall in front of Matthew Park would make a good place to drill, it was easy enough to organise. It also helped that uh, the caretaker was an old Fenian, an IRB man. And all the streets, all the way up Phillipsburg Avenue, you would have had a lot of people who ended up fighting the 1916 Rising, such as the Hendersons, who actually lived. The entrance into Father Matthew Park was at Windsor Villas. And just inside Windsor Villas, you had uh, Frank and Leo Henderson lived there. You had a man called Liam Cullen lived just directly across it, who's the main IRB organiser for the area. And just slightly down from it um, was Sean Connolly, who was a captain in the Citizens' Army and was the first man to be shot in 1916. But it wasn't all military stuff going on in here. They had concerts, they had uh, pageants, they had fairs. I don't know, has anyone been to the Battle of Clontarf reenactment? Yeah. yeah, well, a hundred years ago, it was reenacted in Father Matthew Park. But included in the participants of the reenactment were Eamon Kent, Sean McDermott, and Tomás McDonough. Right. And on the Saturday of Easter week, when everyone came down to Father Matthew Park uh, for what they thought was a normal routine bit of drilling, Tomás McDonough gave them this fiery speech that left them in no doubt that something was up for on Sunday. So when they all got up on Sunday morning and went down to get the papers, probably down at Marino Mart, they suddenly found that the rising had been cancelled. And if you'd been out there on the road, anywhere up along here, about 8 o'clock in the morning, you probably have run into Patrick Pierce with his head down, tearing up the road, followed shortly behind by Sean McDermott and Tom Clark. Tom Clark lived just down here on Richmond Avenue. It's a big grey house at the very top of the avenue. Ned Daly, his son-in-law, also lived in that house. He commanded, or sorry, his brother-in-law lived in that house. He was the commander at the four courts. Now, we're not going to get down there today because we're running behind time, right? But if you want to go down and have a look, it's best known, most people know Richmond Avenue because James Joyce lived in number 15. Less well known is that Cal Brewer was born in number 13. But Tom Clark's house is just at the top of the road. But, and then, if you were wondering what was up, having seen all of them rushing out along the road, you'd have seen the first Hope Tram. And as you looked up, you would have seen Tomás McDonough. And they were all heading out to the Clontarf Town Hall. Right? And that's where a decision was made to go ahead with the Rising. Right? Luckily enough, James Connolly wasn't invited because James Connolly didn't use trams. He considered anybody who used trams to be a scab. And he wouldn't have accepted that Tomás McDonough was in a hurry. And he'd have pulled the Citizen Army out of the Rising, possibly. But he wasn't invited. Right, now, we're running behind time. There was a lot more I was going to do, but we're going to head down this way because there's lots more to see, right? We're going to just 
come down to the bottom of the road here and then we're just going to turn in.